Hey, what's up guys? Back in the bathroom again with the 3D printer. I'm gonna be doing another mod today. Now basically, on the top here of the printer, it's got an actual opening so the actual extruders can move around. The tubes all come up the top here, connect into the stepper motors in the back here. One of the problems with this and being in this room is that the hotbed tends to collect a lot of dust on it. Uh, which the dust sitting on top of that capped on tape, it just sticks right to it. So what I'm gonna do is actually make a cover for the top so that we can actually still take that off nice and easy when we need to use it, but it doesn't allow dust to all fall inside the printer. <laughs> Perspex sheet, which I got from my local hardware store. Now I've got painter's tape. I'm going to tape up that area that I want to cut out and then I'm going to measure it out. Now we've got our piece cut out. You can see I notched out a section here so it would fit nicely around the extruder. I could just put that on, but what I'm gonna do is put a handle on this so I can take it off the printer nice and easy. Now I could go down to the hardware store and pick up a handle for a couple dollars, but since we're 3D printing, I'm gonna 3D print one. Alright, so there you go. Uh, that printed off quite easily. Uh, it's only 20% infill, so I didn't have to worry too much about the strength because it's only picking up a small piece of plastic. Now, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. Probably just straight in the middle should be fine. I can then just lift it off. And it's actually quite similar to the existing handle on the printer itself, so at least I know in future if I need to replace those, I've got something I can do it with. So I'm just going to tape this up, mark out the holes, drill them, attach it with some screws, and then we'll put it on the printer. All we do is slide this in now. It fits nice and snug in there. Blocks off any dust coming through. We've got a handle on the top so we can take it off when we need to. Uh, it costs hardly anything to put together. So I'm pretty happy with that. So thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next time. Uh. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, hit that like button or you can subscribe by hitting the button up here. Now I've also got a couple more videos up here on this side and I've also got my cryptocurrency channel over here. So go check that out. But thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.